I'm talking to Stu Ballard of Save Our Seven campaign. Um, Stu, recently on the television I heard uh, a well-known environmentalist compare the, the estuary of the Seven River behind you to uh, something approaching a desert. Well, that's an astonishing piece of misinformation and um, I'm surprised that it's coming for someone quite so well up in the environmental field. The Seven is a fantastically abundant place. Um, every year thousands of elk, maybe millions of elvers migrate up, up the Severn and are caught by the netsmen. Um, there's also, just last year alone, a thousand salmon were caught in this river. It's the UK's premier salmon river. It's also Europe's number one inland, inland fishery for the amount of money it makes. Um, and along with, with the salmon coming up, the um, the whole estuary itself is a nursery ground for the rest of the ocean and I've been out with, with the um, elver men looking in their little nets which are very fine and they catch every species of marine um, um, fish that you can think of. So, so had, what sort of things do they find in there? Well I've found, I've had on my finger a little tiny dover sole, about as big as my fingernail, just wiggling around, and little tiny tiny gunard, which are all, all marine fish, and they're all here. And we also get Quite surprisingly, people don't realise this. We get um, marine mammals in, in the Severn as well. Um, Such as uh, this summer, a seal made its made its way all the way up as far as Tewkesbury, past Gloucester, all the way to Tewkesbury. And um, Natural England uh, were alerted to it, so they took it back down to Chepstow, let it go. Two weeks later, it was back up at Tewkesbury, and so they caught it again and took it all the way to Newport and where it stayed. But um, also on the Severn, we get. Um, quite often seen porpoises following the tide behind behind the wave and you just see their fin popping in and out of uh, the wave which is a spectacular sight to see but also you get um, because it is um, estuarine you get fresh water and salt water you get the salt water species going up and you get the, the fresh water species coming down and I've seen sea bass um, in the river and I know a friend of mine a salmon fisherman and he, he, they get plaice and halibut and conger eels and as well as the salmon. This uh, is in Gloucestershire? This is in Gloucestershire, just down the road here. Um, uh, grey mullet, I've had grey mullet, I can see, I've seen grey mullet jumping out of the river um, and it's just a spectacular place. And that's just the marine life. And then when you add on top of that all the fantastic bird life here, um, it really is, it's, 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 it's just, for me it's just a heaven. And it's got, um, the soil is super fertile and you've got fantastic loads of um, just trees and apple trees and all that stuff around here so it is a fantastic place and to perceive it as being a desert is really I think a um, an opinion with an agenda. Oh. Stu Ballard thanks very much. Pleasure.